Okay, so we're back with Farah. Farah, nice to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. So we had an interesting story with your hand, right? Remember? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, it the uh, the wound showed uh, MRSA, right? Farah had taken a picture of what her wound looked like initially, and had saved it for us, and here it is as a reminder. Right? Right. But we were sensitive to the antibiotic I had given you. Yes. And so everybody's going to want to know how this turned out. Can you remove that Band-Aid and show us? Yes, I can do that. While Farah is removing that bandage, let's, uh, let's go back and take a look again at what happened on our previous visit. You can see here after the uh, lesion's been anesthetized, we used a number 11 blade uh, to attempt an IND, but instead of an abscess, we found an eschar uh, and a wound that, uh, again, turned out to be positive for MRSA. Look at that. Now that looks like it's healed very, very well. There's one little area still in the center there that maybe needs a few more days of coverage, but I think you've healed up very well. Now you've not had any other fevers or chills or any other signs where this might have spread or anything like that? Um, you know, when I, after you lanced and everything, I did have, um, I was very hot mm -hmm. <laughs> for mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of time there, mm -hmm. um, but to lately, be expected, right? Because right. We were, because that you are had you had redness that came all the way out. Remember yes, that? Yeah, I did. Um, okay, so that's healed very well, and we don't have any reason to believe at this point that you're going to continue to have problems with staph or MRSA. The antibiotic okay. that we had given you uh, on the second visit, where we went ahead and treated it. Uh, was um, uh, the uh, the MRSA was very sensitive to that antibiotic, so you should do just fine. If you were to have another episode, though, we would begin to be concerned that you might be a staph carrier, and we'd have to start, you know, doing some things about that. But I think you've done very well. I'm going to give you a prescription for a scar cream, a prevention cream, so that we don't see a big scar. Anytime you have a wound like that that heals, we want to go ahead and be sure that we protect it from the sun. Um, one of the components of the scar cream is a sunblock. And if we protect it from the sun, it's less likely to darken and therefore become more visible and more evident. So that's one oh. of the things to keep in mind. Okay. Anyway, you've done great. Thanks for letting us follow up. We had some people that want to know how Farah did. Okay. All right. And you have a great weekend. Thank you. Bring John in the video. Three, two, one, go. Stay tuned for the Meta 7 video. Okay, we're rolling. Tell us about uh, Meta 7. Okay, I've been on the Meta 7 now about two months. Um, I feel real great. After the first 15 minutes, I feel like I get a good boost of energy. Uh, after about two weeks, I was able to curb my appetite. I've now lost about 12 pounds and I'm continuing to uh, lose a little bit more weight. But uh, I love the stuff. It's great. Okay. Do you still feel uh, sleepy, drowsy in the no. afternoons? No, not okay. at all. And you're getting stuff done? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And do you everything. feel hungry while you're taking it? I don't, actually. I have to remind myself a little bit to at least snack on something. Fantastic. So it's working well for you and you don't feel, you don't feel jittery or shaky? Not anymore. at all. Feel natural. Yes. yes. Great yes. boost, didn't it? Yes, yes. Good deal, it. man. I appreciate you sharing with all our uh, fans out there. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you.